This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Join me today and let me show you how we took a plain front dresser that was in need of a little love and took our best shot at turning it into this gorgeous anthropology dupe. Let me show you how it's done. So heading into 2022, the thing I'm finding I'm really falling in love with is this high lacquered, high shine, clean line, clean front looking furniture. I think it's the next up and coming thing. So I've been looking at ways that I can dupe pieces that I have out in my garage and turn it into this fabulous new trend. The only problem with this that I can see and these pieces that I'm finding online is that their price point is very high. So I'm trying to find a way that's more cost effective for my clients that are interested in this type of furniture as well. So here we go with this kind of boring plain front black dresser. It has a few nicks, cuts, dents, all the good stuff that furniture has when it's been well loved. Nothing broken per se on the inside. I don't have any drawers to fix. I've got some things to fill along the top as you can see, but I'm going to try my best to turn this dresser into that awesome anthropology dupe that I just showed you. First things first is I'm going to go ahead and remove all the hardware. Now you saw the hardware on that other piece. It was those really cool plastic lucite looking poles. I actually found some of those on Amazon and I'll be sure to link them below. So this is going to get a whole new facelift. Here we go. Now that my handles are removed, everything is going to get a good clean with some simple green. I've got it mixed up to the bottle directions and just make sure to give my furniture a good scrub. This has been sitting in my garage for a while, so although the insides are fairly clean, the outside definitely needs a once over. large repair I have on this dresser is this crack that you see right here. I'm going to take some of my wood fill to fill this in and once it's dry we'll sand it down. Now that I've got the dresser clean, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it on its back so I can get to work on this base. The dresser that I really loved on Anthropology had those clear legs on it, but I'm not gonna be able to do that to this one. So I still need to do something to this base to bring it up to date and make it a little more on trend. I've decided the best look for this is to go ahead and remove the curves at the bottom of the base and just go with a straight leg look. So I'm going to go ahead and measure and mark everything out and then take my jigsaw and cut out the design pattern I have marked with the pencil.
now that I've got the base shape that I'd like, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Makita Orbital Sander to it to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Like I mentioned before, we're going for a totally different look with the new poles that we'll be installing on the drawer fronts. So we're going to go ahead and put some wood fill in the old holes where the old poles were. I'm using a 220 grit sandpaper pad on my Surf Prep 3x4 electric ray sander. It's going to help take out all these nicks and dents that are in the front of my dresser right here from all the regular wear and tear that it has. I'm also going to use it to go ahead and scuff sand the rest of my dresser and take down the wood fill where the new poles are going to go. dresser is made out of particle board with a laminate top so I can't be too aggressive on my sanding on the top of this so I'm just using again a 220 sanding grit sponge I have to be a little more aggressive when I fix the side here and I'm going in with a 180 but uh, using very little pressure just to help knock down some of this wood fill so that it blends in nicely on the side Now that all my sanding dust has settled, I'm going to go ahead and use a damp rag and wipe everything back. Before we apply our paint, let me tell you a little about Skillshare. Skillshare can help make this new year a year of learning, growth, and connection through your creativity. From marketing and video editing to interior design, woodworking, and so much more, you can find a class that will match your goals and interests. As a homeschooling mom, I love it when my kids find ways to exercise their creativity. My son has an interest in computer coding and he is really enjoying Scratch Programming, a coding for kids class by Shervin House. It's exciting to watch his creativity being sparked by classes that are on his skill level. Skillshare is always ad free and premium classes are launched every single week, so there's always something new to discover. Skillshare offers classes for lifelong learners, beginners, pros, and dabblers. No matter what level you're on, there is a class for you. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. Where will your Skillshare journey take you? For the paint, I'm using my favorite Sherwin-Williams Krylon Chalky Finish paint. I found a color very similar to that dresser that I loved in Anthropology, and this color is called Aleutian by Sherwin-Williams. It is a very light blue-gray, and it is going to look perfect underneath that lacquered finish.
dresser required two full coats of elution before we put on the top coat. We like to use Minwax Helmsman Spar Urethane in a water-based formula. And the trick to this very high shine lacquer dresser is to use their gloss formula. If you've chalk painted furniture before, you know that normally the top coat would be a satin or a matte on the top, but you can already see from the sunshine and the reflection that I'm getting that this is super shiny. So it's going to give it that really, really high shine look that we're trying to go for with this anthropology dupe. going to end up doing three coats of poly on this for that beautiful lacquered finish. Now that my poly is nice and dry, it's time to add my hardware. I'm going to measure my drawers to make sure I am right smack dab in the center before I start drilling my holes. I found these rectangle acrylic glass poles off of Amazon and they are going to be the perfect fit to finish off this anthropology dupe. Let's take one last look at our before, before we look at our after. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week on Lemons to Lemonade. <laughs>